Yo guys, so today I'll show you how to use non PS3 controller to your jailbroken PS3 right here. As you can see right here, I got the Xbox 360 controller. It's working fine. Using D pad here. Let's see? So there is a little bit of delay when you are in the XMB. But if you're in the game, um, there is, it's, it, you can't tell there's a delay, basically. Yeah. All right, so you will need a computer for this. So make sure you want to go to this, to this link. I'll also put it down in the description. Don't worry. And also this one. But if you if you have this already, then you're good to go. But it's basically webman to to make the plugin run to your ps3 so you just need to do is just one download it all right and then you will see raid me and stuff like that so you'll need to extract all of these and then once you extract it to so go to plugins folder and then you'll see ps3 xpad then you'll see these txt files and sbrx files you just need to open the the xpad underscore devices and then right here you will see some already you know like presets that is already um entered if you don't see any of your controller here um you will need to find it by um, looking for the hardware ID, what you need to do is you need to plug in your controller to your computer. Okay, so I plugged in the controller to my computer. So you wanna go to control panel, touch up control panel here. Yeah. Just need to go to view device printers. You need to your controller so mine is this one but it doesn't matter if it has an error so just go to the priorities and you go to hardware and you'll see the name of your controller so mine is xbox 360 controller and then you want to press priorities and right here what you need to do is go to events so it may not really show up here but it's basically these these are the IDs but if it doesn't show up here you also go to details tab and go to um, this list here you don't want to choose hardware IDs which is basically the same but you know just in case it doesn't show up here so yeah so you want to write that down to this txt file so the so first thing you need to do is you type in 0x you need to type in 0x first and then it will show up vid right see here so you want to type in the vid so zero four five eight. so make sure it's lowercase um if it's you know on caps like this one just make sure it's lowercase on this one because because yeah so just want to add comma in space and type in 0x again and this one is for the PID all right so this one right here PID it's your PID for your controller and then you want to type in the, the ID 028 then comma again space 
then you need to type in the name for your controller. It doesn't really matter, just type in whatever. So here's the name, I got the name, stuff like that. You, know, you need to do an X type this time. So if it's uh, so basically X type, this means um, if it's on Xbox One controller or Xbox Resistant controller or a PS4 controller. All right. So if it's an Xbox Resistant controller and it's wired, make sure it's just this. If it's a wireless 360 controller, you need to type in W at the end. Alright. So I'll use this one here. Alright. So, what I just want to do is just save it. And then we close it. Alright. X out this one, don't need that. So now you got your controller signed um this one you will need this filezilla and now uh, this is really optional but it is very recommended to use an ftp to transfer between from your computer and um but yeah uh but this time i'll use ftp which is filezilla so just go ahead and install filezilla client which I already have one, so I'm not gonna install it. But yeah, I want to make sure. Uh, do not install a server. Just install a client. All right. So go to FileZilla if you already have one installed. And then it should look like this. All right. And now you need to get your PS3 IP address. Okay, so what you need to do go down to to system. Scroll down to system information, and then you will see your IP address and whatever. So this is just a private IP, so don't worry too much. <laughs> To type in your prep your IP to puzzle. So make sure you got webman installed or you won't be able to get FTP working. So type in whatever IP you have and you just want to press quick connect. Alright, so just wait for it to to load. Okay, so right here it will show up, just press OK. So you need to do is uh, go to HDD0. So that's that's um, dev underscore HDD0. And then you'll see you'll see stuff. And then you want to find plugins. So it's right here. As you can see, you already have it. But basically, you just grab your PS or X pad folder it should look like this right so let me just modify it and stuff like that and you just need to drag it in to your PX3 plugin folder so if you don't have a plugins folder just go ahead and make one just name it plugins all right on these um, di directory all right so go ahead do that we already have it so let's do the same thing let's see same thing but yeah so there's one more thing so basically what you need to do is you'll see on under dev underscore hd0 you will see boot underscore plugins dot txt right so just double tap 
then it will transfer to your PC. And then you wanna right click from your PC and then you wanna open. Okay. So you'll see these stuff. So you might get confused what it says, right? So basically it's just to make your plugins boot. Alright. Just to make your plugin run. So what you just need here is just this two. Just need that two. And I'll put it down in the description. So you, know, you can just copy and paste it. You just need to save it. And then you just wanna drag it back in to PS3. It will say it's over right. Just press OK. So once you've done that, you will have to restart your PS3. Alright, once you have restarted your PS3, it's not like that. What you need to do is you wanna press um, the back and start and then X on your Xbox or whatever controller you have. So it will show up this main menu and our command modifying the response time putting on 3 millisecond so just to have balanced but yeah, um it just to help not to have delays on your controller too if it does not work then that's probably because your controller does not support it but yeah i'm pretty sure xbox one like the xbox one s controller does not support it but the the first gen xbox one contr controller does support it so if you have one then it might work for you so yeah um but yeah um i'm, I'm just using it 360 control because none of my Xbox One controller works. So, so yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>